Hey guys, as uh, some stuff has changed in my life recently and I did a few bits of shopping and I'm really enjoying what I bought, I thought I would do a quick haul slash update video for you. So let's get to it. So the first thing that I've got that I'm going to show you is some pyjamas. So I've got these Adventure Time pyjamas from Primark. So the top has got Jake on it and it says Jake but because of the cut it's kind of cut off but it's got his little face there and then the shorts are just covered in this print of him all over them and they're so soft and comfy and I've really been enjoying these and then as I could not leave these when I saw them in store and they are the softest things it's been so hard to get out of these to get ready for work I bought these which say waiting for my letter from Hogwarts and they're just like the softest things. There was a variety of different trousers that you could buy to go with this top and I saw some really cool Marauders Map ones but they didn't have them in my size so I might have to go back and get those another time so I just went for these grey ones which really match the top and they've just got the Hogwarts crest here in gold and this nice like burgundy ribbon with some gold stripes through it and they're just super comfy. Lastly, clothes wise, I bought this shirt. Um, this is a shirt that I've been wanting for a while and I could never find it in the women's section and I've always been too nervous to shop in the men's section by myself so I've just never picked it up. And then I was in Primark with my sister and I saw it there and it was only 10 pounds and so I went for it. It's beautiful, it's again so soft. <laughs> It's just this lovely black and red checked pattern. I got it in a large because I thought I really wanted it to be baggy, but it is so long I could almost wear it as a dress. But I really like that about it. The sleeves are long enough I can tuck my hands up inside them. It's really great. Also, whilst in Primark, I went and had a look in the candle section because most of the time when I go into Primark, I have a sniff of some of the candles that are around and they just smell so good and I've not been able to buy any of the candles until now because I've either already had too many or not had the money or whatever so I went in and I picked some up, I got three so these two jars here smell the same and one of them says great things will happen and the other says you light up my life um, I'm not the biggest fan of this slogan but the candle smells so good that it definitely makes up for it and then the last one that I got is Prosecco and Strawberry scented and it's just so, so good. These were all in the sale section though so I'm a little bit sad I probably won't be able to get these candles again. And these jar candles, it doesn't actually say on them what the scent is but it's just so sweet and kind of vanillary and just wonderful so if you know what this scent is please let me know. And to continue on the Primark theme, as far as I can find through all of my research that I have done through letters from people who have contacted Primark and just what's on Primark's website, as far as I can find, Primark's makeup and beauty ranges are completely cruelty free and so I've been really enjoying being able to pick up some cheaper makeup products that are still really great quality. I picked up the eye makeup remover. This does separate really strangely because it is oil and water, but you just give it a quick shake before you use it. It's got some kind of oil in it. I think it's got cucumber extract and something else. And so when you're taking your makeup off, it really moisturizes your skin and it feels so nice. I would actually say that this cleansing water is better than the Garnier Miscalier cleansing water and I've been using that one for a while. So if you like that, I definitely recommend checking this out. And then in the makeup section a few weeks ago, I bought this felt tip eyeliner and it's just wonderful. It's what I've got on my eyes at the moment and it's just really easy for doing flicks with. It stays really well, but if you wear it in the shower, it does just go everywhere. And my final product from Primark is Wrap Me Up Peppermint Lip Balm. I love having minty lip balms. I think it's wonderful. I really love the tingling sensation on your lips when you put it on. It just makes me very happy. I've been looking for a new mint lip balm that's cruelty free considering my last one was an EOS one and I was very happy to see this and definitely had to pick it up, especially for £1.50 and it is very nourishing and moisturising on the lips. And my last favourite is from Lush and it is this. 
This is the Fireside Soap from the Halloween and Christmas range, I think. And it just smells amazing. It's got lots of cinnamon and I think clove and other warm scents and it just makes me very happy. It's got this beautiful design that looks like a flame as well. This is technically my first Lush soap other than Coalface and I'm absolutely in love with it. So as some of you might know I have been unemployed since early July and I have been applying for absolutely everything. My goal was to find a new digital marketing and social media apprenticeship but that has not turned out. I've not found any new positions, I've emailed so many companies and nobody's interested in hiring an apprentice in digital marketing at the moment and so I just started applying for different retail jobs so I am now working in a fast food place I'm not going to name the fast food place just in case I post anything that they're not happy with there's then no link between what I've said and the company but I've met most of the team that I'm working with now and I really get along with everyone I'm probably going to really enjoy this position everything's going really well so far Apparently I'm picking everything up really well and yeah, that's that's what I'm doing at the moment. Who knows if that'll change. I also have a position being an elf in Santa's Grotto over Christmas, which I'm very excited about. And I'm just gonna see how things go. I hope you enjoyed this small favourites slash haul and update and I will see you guys next week. Hey guys, so I realised the other day that although I've been sharing a lot of my life with you guys since I restarted my YouTube channel two months ago,